traffic in Barcelona is something, a bit like the passage through the Strait of Gibraltar for the Amoca Ocean Master's New York to Barcelona fleet yesterday. In the Strait there is a traffic scheme, westbound vessels must stay north, eastbound ones like the Amoca boats must stay south. But this is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world and the traffic is intense, just like Barcelona. After the retirement of Saffron yesterday, Hugo Boss has taken the lead and the three boats still racing are now all into the Mediterranean. Mediterranean yesterday afternoon we passed the Straits of Gibraltar which was uh, interesting to say the least and uh, since then we've had some very uh, lucky wind directions. We've sailed basically east in the Alberan Sea and now we're turning a bit uh, northeast to go up uh, towards Barcelona. Um, it's been very exciting. It's a nail-biting race with, uh, with Guillermo Altadil. Uh, he's not far behind us on Neutrogena, uh, not very far at all. And so we're, uh, we're working very hard this morning to, uh, to try to eke out every ounce of boat speed that we can in light air, hoping to get a uh, Hugo Boss win going into Barcelona. Exiting the strait, second place Neutrogena chose a different option 10 miles to the north of Hugo Boss. But at the latest sked, they're now only four miles behind the leaders, a fraction of their 20 mile deficit yesterday. But the forecasts are unreliable, and all night the crews have been at the mercy of significant unpredicted wind shifts. Meanwhile, Gaius sailed through the Strait of Gibraltar several hours behind the leaders last night. She had a brutal time sailing upwind in 35 knots and managed to snare two fishing nets along the way. The tight battle between Team Neutrogena and Hugo Boss looks set to continue all the way to Barcelona. The outcome will be decided on who plays the complex weather situation the best between here and the finish. This will make for a fascinating duel that may only be finally decided off Barcelona on Sunday.